All right, welcome back. Now we're going to do another one of these videos about what came in this week. And uh, there's about five or six units we're going to look at here. The first one's going to be this John Deere F525. Now, I've had about four or five of these in the last year somehow. I've been just getting a bunch of them. And this one actually has a nice body on it. The, the plastic and fiberglass is pretty nice. The deck has a nice big hole in it. This has been sitting for a while, but it is a good parts machine. And these have that integrated power unit, which is the, en the, the engine and transmission all in one. They call it the unitized power unit. So there you can see it a little bit. And this rear cover here, is actually in really good shape, which is rare on these. I think usually takes a beating. But this one's been sitting for a long time, probably just gonna be a parts machine. But it's gonna be good for somebody. The 48 inch deck, you know, it's got all the tires on it. It's all here. It's just uh, well used up. But you got all this linkage on the front of the deck here. So, you know, for me, this is a parts machine, but somebody's gonna be able to do something with it and this dinosaur here the Bowens QT 16 with the 16 horsepower Onan with the mowing deck might be a 48 inch deck maybe it's a 46 there's another one it's been sitting for a while that's why it's mostly brown instead of white and green like a Bowens normally is from this time but uh, the hydraulic lift on that, hydrostatic transmission, but that's another one for me. That's a parts unit. I don't, don't have a hood with it. That's just the way I got it. No rear PTO or anything like that. No rear lift on it. Then I got a couple of these little John Deere RX-75s. This one here is actually all complete. It's even got a nice seat on it. Nine horsepower Kawasaki electric start. This one's all here. Doesn't look like this model actually had a hood on top of the engine. But the body on it is really nice. The paint's really nice. Tires have slow leaks. But this one here probably could be cutting grass again, you know. There's still people looking for these little ones with like a 30 inch deck so they can get in their backyard. And then I got another one, same thing. This one actually came with a bagger. It's got the mounting bracket there for the bagger. Same nine horsepower engine, but missing the carburetor. So I don't really know what's up with that. I got a couple extra blades with it. So I got two of these guys in. And I've worked on these before. I know if you want to put a drive belt on one of these, it's no fun. These little rear engine John Deere's, they're, they're no fun to work on. They're a good little machine, but they're not fun to work on at all. There's a, a lot easier things to work on than these, than these here. Also this week, actually today, when I'm filming this video, I got this really old Agway. This is uh, MTD. It's like mid-90s, early 90s possibly. And this is, uh, said somewhere, Signature Series. But this was sold by Agway. Kind of like a Heckinger. You know, they sold these back in the day. So it's got some extra decals on it. It's got hubcaps on it all the way around. They're a little banged up. It's got 12 and a half horsepower V-twin, almost like a Vanguard. It's got cast aluminum valve covers on it. And actually the front plastic is in decent shape yet. It's not perfect. But on these older MTDs, usually this plastic wasn't very good anymore. Something really unique on this is this display on the steering wheel. Now this doesn't have all the options that are on this steering wheel display, but it actually lights up. 
And that's the oil light there. And I've never seen that on one of these style MTDs. And since the gas tank is in the rear, which is something else that's really different, it has an electric fuel pump. So it's got this little cover and it's got these bumpers. I would call them bumpers on the back. They have plenty of holes in them, like you can mount something else back here, like a bagger. It has the hole there for the battery, but on this particular one, the battery is in the front. Because it is a rear gas tank model. You know, usually the gas tank on these MTDs was up here. But this is a, a fairly unique model. Being that it was sold by Agway, they, they stepped it up a little bit. They gave it a whole different engine, you know, a different color, some extra decals on it. There we go, heritage, not signature, but a heritage. You know, it's still only 38 inch deck because it's so old, that was like the standard size. But this one actually runs and, you know, we're gonna get it started up here in a second. So let's see, see how this thing runs. Well, let's try this out once here. Pull the choke out. Put it back in park. Or not. It says PTO. It, it works pretty good it seems like I haven't mowed with it but it actually starts right up once you pull the, the PTO handle back it's typical MTD that handle raises and lowers the deck and when the deck moves rearward the belt gets tight so that handle has to be back far enough to uh, make the switch so that it'll crank so now the last one that came in this week which also came in today right after that MTD Agway is this uh, antique wheel horse here. I believe this is a 656 model. Something like that. Something real close to that. About a 1966 model. Does not have the original wheels on the back. But it's got the five lug hubs on it. Somebody put car tires on it. They cut out the fenders. And actually, they didn't do a bad job. So, you know, you could put some nice big tires on this. If you get the right offset wheels. But this does have a mowing deck on it, probably a 36 inch. So a little bit newer style deck than what's on the, the 702 that I have. Still a three speed transmission. The, dis the dash is a little bit different on this. This does have the center cap on the steering wheel. It's not really legible. The steering wheel is actually in really good shape. It's just dirty. And uh, this hood has a hinge on the front. Now that tire there is just completely gone, so it will need a tire to at least look nice, even even for to make it a display, it still would need a tire. So a little bit of a custom exhaust. This is a Tecumseh engine on here, like uh, very similar to a snowblower style engine, but it does have a 12 volt starter, so it has the battery in here. But luckily it has a pull start. So like I said, Tecumseh engine, not original. They had to cut the hood a little bit. But when they were hacking at this, they actually did a really good job on the metal work. They didn't really destroy anything. They just modified it a little bit. Now here I had the air filter cover off because I wanted to see if this would start. 
and uh, it did actually start for me so let's see if we can get this cranked up again real quick but overall it's not too bad the sheet metal on this is really really nice you know it was repainted obviously I'm not sure if that's actually wheel horse red but it's pretty close and it has a nice seat on it not original but has a nice seat the usual cast iron rear axle on here and it does have that lift on the back see here if this will start again see if we get lucky twice put that where the choke is open a little bit not that much just a little bit well anyway needs more choke. want any choke. Oh, the throttle got stuck. Went closed and didn't open. There we go. So there we go. The throttle's set all the way closed. So that's why it closes as soon as the governor starts to operate. And the cables are stuck. So probably not going to be a video on this one. We already know it runs. That's going to be good enough. So that's what came in the shop this week. I just got to find homes for some of this. Like I said on this one, probably not really going to do much. I think I'll find somebody that is looking for a little project. We already know the engine runs. That's more than half the battle most of the time. So that's what came in this week. Now I'm going to try and keep doing these. So if you think this is interesting a little bit, hit subscribe and hit the like button. We'll see you next week.